question everyone yeah. wants to know, right? If we've got to put up with all of this, <laughs> did we at least break the record of the most snowfall? That may be worth it. Yeah. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the answer to that and why it's making some people miserable. I've been in Detroit all my life. This is the worst. It's been one doozy of a winter, leaving many of us flat out sick of the snow. And it's sending some lucky folks south to the Orange State. We just looked, it was 77 in Fort Myer. Yeah, a lot of older people always like to say, oh, winters when I was a kid, but to be honest with you, other than the late 70s, winters never came close to what we've had this year. And Josh Hallisey ought to know. He's an official snowfall observer for the National Weather Service, and we caught up with him taking his official measurements for today's snowfall and current snow depth. The measurements are taken near Metro Airport. Through 2 p.m. we had six and a half inches. Hallisey says we've had enough snow this season for two average winters around here. The record snowfall was set 134 years ago in the winter of 1880-81 with 93.6 inches. Right now we're at 90.6. Three inches away. Uh, it is noteworthy though to say that uh, the, the previous second place snowiest winter was 78 inches back in 1925 and 26. So we've already beat that by a foot. And even this official snow tracker has had enough. Oh it's been crazy. I mean I love snow but this winter has been it's been a lot of work to do the measuring. And a lot of folks are hoping Hallisey doesn't have much more to measure, especially this man who has his golf clubs ready to load onto a flight to Florida. It's on schedule right now. It better get out. <laughs> we can always practice your swing. <laughs> In Romulus, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Well, we're